<rire> Bonsoir les gens de Somniac, bienvenue. Hey. Ah non, je suis live ou je suis pas live Peut-être que je suis live alors. Euh... Yeah, go, go, go for it, follow him. Follow him. Bon. Yeah, stay this side and follow him. Yeah. Alors Don est occupé, comme d'habitude, il lance le live et puis il discute, il discute. Alors celui que vous voyez en face de vous, tout de suite, enfin, alors que nous l'attendons depuis des heures, c'est. Euh... Le navigateur sud-africain, bateau numéro 7, Oleana, que vous connaissez déjà de la précédente du Golden Globe Race. C'est le bateau déjà à... Just get on the radio, tell him he's not over the line yet. He's still got 150 meters to go. 200 meters or more. <laughs> I don't know well, why you thought that was it. Uh, Alors, on recommence. Okay, so. Um... Bon, cette fois-ci, je demande à mon cadreur. This time, I will ask to my to to my camera guy to pay attention because I'm completely mixed in the camera. <laughs> We tied up there. <laughs> okay. okay. Don McIntyre, when it's 3 o'clock in the morning, he's not very, very, very. Up. What's the plan? No, I have it. Yeah, yeah. No, I have it. Yeah, cool. This time, can I start or yeah, I wait? Yeah, yeah, or right. Do you have other instructions no, no, to give it. around? No, <laughs> un peu compliqué. Euh, Jeremy Buckshaw, le navigateur sud-africain, arrive dans une centaine de mètres à peu près sur la ligne. Il est suivi par, ses, par des amis et des supporters des, du, du Yacht Club de, euh, de Cape Town. Et nous sommes sur l'eau, nous l'attendons depuis 4 heures maintenant. Nous sommes sortis à 11 heures. Il est 3 heures et quart lorsqu'il croise enfin la ligne du, du drop point de, de, de Cape Town. Et... Euh, il a été en fait bloqué, euh, bloqué dans, un, dans un trou de vent euh, pendant 4 heures. Et ça a rappelé à Don McIntyre son, son beau challenge parce qu'il était arrivé. Hop, je suis toujours mixé dans les pattes. Alors il y a beaucoup de vent aussi et ce n'est pas évident, évident. Il crosse la ligne. Vous ne le voyez pas de nuit, mais il crosse la ligne à l'autre bout de la ligne. Donc nous sommes beaucoup plus dans, dans la mer. Ok, ok. You're over. Et ça y est, ça y est, il a passé après 72 jours de bonheur de compte. Depuis le départ des sables de Dolon, c'est 72 jours de solitude, sans aucune communication. Et ses amis sont bien contents de le voir enfin arriver ici. Ok, so uh, that was a bit of interesting stuff. Um, this, this end line is about 25 knots uh, gusting here and uh, it's just gone over now, so it's on, it was on 15 uh, quarter past, so uh, we've got a time, he needs to do that for 20 minutes now, and um, he can hold whatever course he wants to do. Uh, it's been a real beat to get up here, he fell in the hole, no wind, all the rest of it, so uh, uh, all quite interesting. Now we need to get alongside so we can tell him what's going on. So. Um, just talking on the radio at the moment so uh, he'll be happy to get here but the, uh, uh, interesting it's a bit too hard to see the barnacles on because it's night time and stuff but um, I'm not sure I haven't got that just um, hang on a sec you can just what's happening okay We can go a bit closer if you want. We'll uh, uh, just go, go quite close this side and then we'll just talk to him and tell him what's going on and get his films and stuff. Um, so, it should actually uh, might be easy to get around. I'll just tell him what's going on. Good hey, good to see you. You can actually turn around and go back on course now if you want. Yeah, with whichever's easiest for you, and we can come across and grab the films and stuff. You want to settle on that one? Yeah, because you can head back on course, it saves you time. Okay, so um, he's 
it's uh, obviously, yep, he's going to come around now. Yep, just just put the light off him a bit, off him a bit. No, just, just point it away. That's it, just like that, just let him turn, just so he can uh, come around and then we'll try and uh, hook it up. Anyway, Jeremy's uh, biggest problem, I think everyone knows, is the fact that he needs to uh, clean the bottom work on that. I'm going to turn right around here now. <laughs> Cable's going everywhere right now. You go forward there. Okay, we'll bring the gimbal around and uh, it's. Uh, there he is. You can light him up now. Yep, you can light him up. Okay. Yeah, plenty of breeze. It looks good. Um, I'm not sure what the current state is of the barnacles, but uh, he's not reporting any other problems other than the fact that he burst a water tank. Uh, lost about 100 litres of water and he was running a bit low on water at the same time so um, this one's going to be a little bit trickier than normal to try and come alongside and uh, uh, have a big chat so it might be a quick chat and grab the films and letters and uh, then let him get on his way he'll be keen to get around the corner he's going to go around to Simon's town I think it is uh, which is his hometown to uh, work on the barnacles <laughs> Yes. Okay, so we want to say, so, so Jeremy, it's going to be hard to come alongside, but and have a big interview. But have you got any any letters or films you want to pass across? Yeah, I've got some yep. Okay, if you get them ready to go, and we'll close in and grab them and try and give you a, a quick chat. Okay. Might settle down a bit. Um, we're gonna try and grab these. Okay, stand by. Can we come close the close in now? Okay, good to see you. <laughs> hey Jeremy, okay. did you see who is behind the light? It's Ev. He's all on board. I can't see. Yeah, just, just <laughs> put it up on the sails. Put the light Eve. up on the sails. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> <laughs> good to see you. Eh? <laughs> Just keep the mic on him. Yeah, that's it. Fantastic. Thanks, Jeremy. What are you yep. doing there? <laughs> we got him working. What happened to the beard? What beard? No, no, this is every Sunday. But, um, and I made a special occasion this morning because I knew I was seeing you guys. So, so. <laughs> yeah. Great to see you, Jerry. Not a good time for spectators to come out. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Every, yeah, it was going to... A couple of boatloads. Sunday afternoon, you would have had heaps. Well, we anyway. had three or four boatloads. So yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I can't see many barnacles. You must have dived already. I did. I, I got under on Monday. Yeah. Um, and I spent about nearly two hours under. Yep. I only got about a third of them, uh, yep. so there's there's a hell of a lot more. Yeah. They're right under, just in front of the rudder. Yeah. Underneath where the where the hull is pretty. Flat. Yeah, yeah. I think there's about 20 patches about this size. Wow. And they're all they're about the size and length of my little finger. Yeah. Uh, goose barnacles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't been able to get the boat over five knots uh, for about the last six weeks. Yeah, we could sense it on the tracker even. You could see the weather and what you were doing. It was I mean, I'm giving cool. away 20 miles a day to, to the rest of the fleet. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. No point getting depressed or angry because <laughs> I can sort it out and I'm going to go and do it. So. <laughs> yeah, too true. So you going around to Simon's Town? Or? Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a, I'd, I'd like this water is too cold and dirty for me. Yeah. It's, it's warmer and clean on that side. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it should be. It's, it's only a 12 mile detour. I mean, you've got to get to Cape Point anyhow. So yeah. it's, um, it should be a faster run down that way now. No <laughs> ways. It's straight into a southerly. When you could turn the corner. Oh, when I turn the corner, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. The last yeah. 12 miles will be good. Yeah. But I could do with some sleep, so I'm probably just going to head offshore a bit. It won't be very. Yeah. The most uh, tactically wise. Say so again. Uh, I'm hooked up yeah. here. I'll keep my head down. Just get that <laughs> head back. Okay. Um, so the rest of the boat's okay, eh? So the rest of the boat's absolutely fine. She she goes beautifully. Um, she 
no way of doing it. It's home uh, on, on Monday and Tuesday we had that big win. Yeah. Um, and I had a shift next to me uh, for about an hour and I was just chatting to the guy, swapping ticket scores and finding out that Australia got beaten at rugby. And, um, and uh, I said to him, you know, you've told me where I am, can you tell me how fast I'm going? He says, oh, Captain, he says, uh, 4.8 to 5 knots. And I mean, that was in 35 knots of wind surfing. Uh, it, it was just, wow. I mean, it, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's really hard. Very yeah. demanding. So, uh, yeah, quite depressing. It's sorted out. So, yeah. Uh, and everything's dry down below? No, not really. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few little, a few little dribbles. Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, it's, it's not too bad. Yeah. What about the water? What's the situation with your drinking um, water? I have less than I would like to have. Yeah. I've got enough to get to Australia, but if I don't catch along the way, I'm not going into the Pacific. Yeah. Okay. But I'm sure I will catch along the way. Yeah. And rigs really good, like the rig and sails, oh, everything. Rig and sails are fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I had one in, uh, small incident with my um, one of my primary winches, one of the poles disintegrated. Really? Yeah. It was wow. Quite weird. Nearly broke my wrist. Just the spanner spun out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I was able to fix that. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. 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 Going around in circles. Uh, yeah, yeah, but he's um, apparently no wind. Oh, he's so a bit of a over the current there as well. Okay. So uh, that, that's the story there. I say hi. Yeah, I am. Say, say, say. Eve is here. Is here. Oh, are you the one behind the yeah. she, behind the net? Yeah, Jeremy, she's here since nine o'clock. Oh wow! She <laughs> was on the parking <laughs> since nine o'clock. Well, that was um, spontaneous. I didn't notice you behind the, the, the light. I, I can't see a thing. You know what? There's a guy I spoke to on the radio on Wednesday, and he mentioned fruitcake. And I've been trying to put it out of my mind because I know it's sitting there. And I said to myself, I won't eat it until I get that below 40 really degrees it. south. And now I've finished half of it. It's too bad. There would have been a lot of people if it was in daylight and uh, you know bits and pieces but anyway he's happy to to be here for sure it's a pretty cool boat and i think most know that this was sailed by our uh, big in 2018 just mastered off cape town locals going nuts <laughs> i can't we're hooked up in cables everywhere at the moment so i can't get around there to show you but uh oops, careful oh, oh, no, oh, you're pulling the cable it's in your arm there um, well, anyway, they're in the dark. There's a few locals there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so they get. <laughs> At least you can see who they are. <laughs> okay, back again the other way. Back again this way. Yep. This is organised chaos today. <laughs> Did you recognise them? Do you know who's there? I do. Okay. Yeah, that is Michelle, uh, oh, media yeah. manager, <laughs> the husband of France. Uh, and and Jeremy, how do you feel? How do you feel to see today? I think it's 72 days since you left the Sabre. 73 days since you left the Sabre de Lod. Yes. How do you feel to see all these people? It's wonderful. But it's going to be very, very hard to to, to sail away. Yeah. 
Il a déjà ramené le bateau de Cap Town au Sable d'Olonne et là il repasse par le Cap Town en, en continuant son tour du monde. Since you left the Sabre de Lone, what is the, the best and the worst thing to happen to you and Doleana? On, on the, since then? Yeah, since you left. The best was uh, yesterday, no, on um, Wednesday morning. Yes, yesterday morning. Yes, yeah. I woke up and, well, I, I came on deck at sunrise and there was a southern right whale oh, wow. was swimming next to me and it swam next to me for 10 minutes. I could have touched it if I really, really? Wow. And then I counted 10 albatrosses flying around at the same time. It was just magnificent. Wow. Uh, the worst time was when there was a big sea and zero wind. Uh, and yeah. the boat's just going... Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. It, it seems this is the worst for everyone because a lot of you, Kirsten, Damian, when I asked what's the worst, they said no wind and the, uh, the sails and, yeah. the, and the noise. It's the noise, it drives yeah. you crazy. Is it, is yeah. it, yeah, yeah. So. And so, how, what are you doing to don't get crazy in the boat? Um, I'm eating. <laughs> I, I, I wake up in the morning and I'm thinking about food. <laughs> and by, by nine o'clock I've had two breakfasts and I want, I'm thinking about lunch already. <laughs> <laughs> and you got enough? You got enough food on board? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we budgeted 56 to 57 days for this, not 73. Um, yeah. So I'm going to have to uh, be very careful now with food. Yeah, there's some strange weather going on, and it's going to continue because all the systems have gone further south. Yeah. So we you might not see the strong westerly, but anyway. Yeah. It might also give you less storms too, Coach uh, You know, you don't really mind the storm. That, what do they say? There's no such thing as uh, too much wind, only too much sail. Yeah. So you, you, you kind of work around it. I, I know that sounds very flippant and I have a huge respect for storms, but um, they, they're better than the calms. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. What are you looking forward to most now, going forward? You know, what, what, um, what's the next big thing for you? I don't know, catching anyone, someone <laughs> catching, <laughs> overtaking someone. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. If you good, you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Getting rid of the barnacles and overtaking someone would be really nice. So yeah. Other than that, it's. Um, Getting back to La Sable, I guess, is, is, is yeah. the next big thing. Yeah, are you enjoying it? Yeah, Tom, not every moment is enjoyable, but there are many enjoyable moments, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what about the navigation? Are you enjoying that? Yeah, I've, I've had to realise that I've got to trust my navigation because um, you, you, you look at it and you look at your dead reckoning and you think, no, hang on, one of these has got to be wrong. And every time, the sun is right. Um, as long as your sights are good, you, you you're right there. And dead reckoning is, is um, a, not a not a, a science a science at all. Yeah. So um, this morning I had three days of 100% cloud cover and huge seas. So my dead reckoning was out by 45 miles this morning. Wow. That's why I came up so close from the south uh, yeah. because I was 45 miles further east than I thought I was. Yeah. Oh, it's better be that way than the other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. Cool. Yeah, very good. Can okay. you any fish? Nothing, Peter. Not a single, not a solitary fish. I, I pulled my lure away from, um, there was a big wahoo, yeah. but it was about a metre and a half long, and I thought, no, I can't catch that thing, because I can't eat it, I can't freeze it, I can't store it. 
so I left him, I, I, I jerked the lure away from him, um, but nothing else. So nothing. A couple of little squid on deck, like that, which tasted okay, because I got them when they were still, before they dried out. Um, and yeah. As, as your um, electrical systems, they're okay? Everything's very yeah. good, yeah. And the wind pilot's okay? Wind pilot is absolutely fantastic, you yeah. know, and uh, 35 knots on Monday. Um, I had two reefs and a little bit of head sail pulled out, yeah. and I slept for four and a half hours. It was just wonderful. <laughs> perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Nothing's wearing out, chafing through. Um, John, I've, you know, there's just the normal sort of things like that. You know. yeah. So tomorrow when I've finished diving, I'll, I'll end, for, end my sheets and replace the shackles. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, the, my stay sail halyard needs to be in for end. It's chafing at the top. Yeah. And, other than that, it's all very good. Yeah, excellent. I'm sure there'll be a big party waiting for you down that side too. I hope not. Um, <laughs> is there any way of switching the track off? I really, I don't want to be disturbed. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah that's I've cool. got a job at work. It's not a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to chase good. Getting yeah. run down. That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, it's all been fun watching everything that's happening. So, uh, and I know there's a lot of people that would rather be here than sleeping now, but they didn't quite make it. You know, everyone's yeah. telling me, oh, we're all going out to see Jeremy. Yeah. yeah. But uh, that's that's how it works out. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah, I tried to time it for 4 a.m., but I got it wrong by <laughs> half an hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all right. That's all good. We did well. It was quite, uh, quite a bit of breeze, so that's cool. All right, I think I lost track of the timing. Uh, um, it's almost done. It was. Uh, uh, it's okay. Uh, yeah. 17 minutes after. Three. Your yeah. Hey, how's your engine? Uh, what was the go there? Is the engine going okay? Uh, it yeah. goes. I yeah. mean, yeah. I test ago. ran it three, four hours ago just to make sure it's all good. Yeah. But it's still sucking in a little bit of air on one of the um, the, the, the valves. Yeah. So it, it's it, it works, but it's it's yeah. not great. And, That's uh, cool. A lot of people are liking your tweets, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's You've got nice. a big following. There's a huge, there's a strong following. A lot, lot bigger than 2018. Oh, that's it's quite cool. Oh, yeah, it's very good. We've got about 7,652 people watching you right now. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> joking, joking. Yeah, Another yeah, stupid McIntyre like joke. That almost the number of pages I've read since the start so, of the race. <laughs> actually, they're not watching now, but they're actually getting up to 15, 20,000 people watching them later on. Oh, wow. It's pretty cool. Eve, thanks for that diary book with all the de the dates and things in. It's absolutely wonderful. And the Kingsley Holgate stone is stuck up on on the dashboard. Eh? Yep. Thanks to Rion. Yes, probably I missed that. Anyway, <laughs> Rion, where's your man? Uh, he's your... holidaying in Australia, man. You know, his son oh, is getting married uh, on, on on Friday. Yeah. Oh wow! Uh, yeah. Please send him my regards. Yeah, he's going. He's going back via um, Lanzarote, Lanzarote, and he's sailing via Panama through the Pacific back to Australia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Captain Coconut Fantastic. being Captain Coconut. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. 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 Living yeah. his best life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, Pat's sailing back as well, and so is Damien. Damien's coming back in January yeah, to sail back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can speak to all the entrants or uh, uh, at yeah, the radio? Um, the only one we don't really hear, well, we never hear from Simon. Yeah. It's a radio issue for him. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I could also He's have disappointed. Um, and occasionally, very seldom from, we never hear from Tapio either or uh, Kirsten very seldom. So, other than that, the guys talk a lot. <laughs> if you get Elliot on the line, you, that's it. Right? <laughs> he doesn't stop. <laughs> uh, it's not told us, Damien. <laughs> uh, Damien was speaking beautiful English. Uh, he was uh, on the on the radio, and um, yeah, it was really nice having him as part of the t uh, the chat group. It was yeah, good. he's uh, flying back to France today. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Okay, it's good good. Yeah. Yeah. it's really cool to see you here, Jeremy. It's really cool to see you here. Yeah, absolutely. How have you guys enjoyed in, in Cape Town? Is it good? Very impressed. You Your are Cape right. Club's good. It's you beautiful. are right, yes. It's, beautiful, it's a it? beautiful town. It's so beautiful Indeed. it hurts when I see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's in the dark, it's not so bad. Oh, it's still beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, Hart Bay was completely in the dark. It wasn't there when I sailed past. I thought so. It's like, where's Hart Bay? Somebody stole it. <laughs>
The time is gone, John. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, the time's gone and our battery's actually I just want to well. chat to Michelle and uh, things on, on Pluto in France, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can yeah. do whatever you want now. But you you're can, in the you way. Can, so. Yeah, we, we get low on battery as well. We wait for a while. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one quick question. Franco. <laughs> one, one quick question. Your Dodger, can you collapse that? At, I can if I need to, yeah. Yeah, it's a great Dodger. It's working. Are you happy with it? Like the Yeah, it's, it's my greenhouse at the moment. I know. It's um, and it's where I dry all my clothes because it gets yeah. really hot in there. No, it's really good. Um, yeah. It's lovely to have, you know, when this spray is coming over the transom, yeah. uh, to sit yeah. there and watch it hitting the, yeah. the window. Yeah, absolutely. And you're happy with all the systems on the boat? Yeah, everything's working. Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah, very good. So, okay. What about we'll let him speak with his friends yeah. in okay. the boat yeah. next right. to us? Good, good to see you. Take him away. <laughs> yeah, good to see you. Stay <laughs> <laughs> safe, eh? Just <laughs> So safe and that's fun. Yeah, Cheers. good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you in Hobart, Jeremy. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. See you in uh, Hobart. Yep. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. If I can find it. I nearly didn't find Africa. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Hello. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, please, please reciprocate. Uh, uh, body. Yeah? Body is a dog. Body, um, body is sitting on top of my depth sounder um, yeah. with his, her, his, her legs. Like that, so every time I want to see how deep it is, I go look between the doors. <laughs> <legs. laughs> I want to speak about <laughs> legs. Tell us, Jeremy. <laughs> Are you solo sailing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who's on board with the legs this way? <laughs> no, I'm probably a fluffy. <laughs> it's um, fluffy. <laughs> I don't think we should stop now. I need to talk to those guys. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, guys. All, All right, right, good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Thanks so much. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Everyone, hang on, and uh, we'll sign off before the battery dies. Je ne fais pas de traduction en français. Vous avez compris. C'est un homme heureux qui passe avec Oleana ce soir à Cap Town. À très bientôt ici. Bye bye. And bye bye from Rian over here. And Eve over there on lights and I'm tied up in cables. But here's Pete. And we've got. Uh, you no, know we've got. We've got people down here. Uh, yes. <laughs> anyway. From, yeah, okay. I think we're going to lose it anyway. See you later. Have fun, eh? Okay. Au revoir. Au revoir. So we'll uh, 